fibroids and fertility. The first thing patient comes and asks is, is it possible to get pregnant with fibroids? Come let's find out the answer. Welcome to Grace TV. We are on a big mission for creating awareness about fertility and women health. This program is exclusively designed to overcome the gap in care that women and couples face when they are planning a baby. So, we have set out to build this informative channel to bridge the gap and provide useful information to women in simple and understandable language. The channel is founded by Dr. Rubina K.D. Singh, an IVF and fertility expert and an ambassador of hope for many couples struggling to have a baby. We are helping couples to become parents from all over the world with ethics, love and joy. Hi, I'm Dr. Rubina, gynecologist and an IVF specialist and today I will tell you about fibroids. Fibroids and its relation with fertility. Now, if you have been diagnosed with fibroid and you are trying to get pregnant, watch the video till the end because we will be covering everything about fibroid and its relation with fertility. Now what are fibroids? These fibroids are the smooth muscle benign tumor. These are non-cancerous and these can present in two ways. Number one, symptomatic fibroids where you have symptoms like irregular periods, heavy bleeding with clots, pain in lower abdomen and in such cases definitely treatment is required irrespective of size and location of the fibroid. The other type is asymptomatic fibroid where patients have no symptoms. Like very recently a patient came to our center. She was married for seven months. The age was 35 years. She was trying to get pregnant and on her initial ultrasound we found out that she has large 10 centimeter fibroid but that was totally asymptomatic. The most frequently asked question about the fibroid is, is it possible to get pregnant with fibroid? The answer is yes, but it depends on the localization means where the fibroid is present in the uterus and also the number of the fibroids and also the size of the fibroid. Now these fibroids can cause fertility problem if they are located inside the uterine cavity. These fibroids are known as submucosal fibroid. So if the uterine cavity where the baby grows is occupied with the space occupying lesion called fibroid, in that case the baby will not implant and baby will not grow. So surgery is always recommended in such fibroids irrespective of the size of the fibroid. So the other treatments like tablets or ablation means burning the fibroid or embolization where we cut the blood supply to the fibroid is recommended but multiple analysis are available to support this fact that this treatment is only useful to those patients who have who are done with their childbearing. So such fibroids are removed hysteroscopically. Now, hysteroscopy is a surgery which is done under anesthesia. There is no stitch, no cut, a small scope goes inside the uterus and the fibroid is removed. So, there is very minimal discomfort, very short stay in the hospital and after surgery, the couple can plan pregnancy from the next month. The other type of fibroid is the fibroid originating from the muscular layer of the uterus. These fibroids are known as intramural fibroids. Now depending on the size and the location of the fibroid, the decision of the treatment is made. If there is a large intramural fibroid, such fibroids have to be removed. As these fibroids causes infertility, they cause pregnancy complications like miscarriage and early delivery called preterm labor. So these fibroids are removed and they are removed by the procedure called laparoscopy. Laparoscopy is a procedure in which you have to stay in the hospital for one to two days. It is done through a small incision around three to four incisions around one to two centimeter and the couple can plan pregnancy after three months.
but the intramural fibroids which are not very large they are between 2 to 5 cm these are the notorious ones the decision is taken according to the location of the fibroid if they are lying inside the uterine cavity they are occupying the empty space where baby has to grow in that case it has to be removed and if there are multiple fibroids 4 to 5 cm the surgery is advised as these fibroid can grow during the pregnancy and can cause pregnancy complications. The other type of fibroid is subserosal fibroid. These are fibroid which sits outside the uterus. If this is the uterus, they are outside the uterus. And such fibroid does not cause any problem in pregnancy and also does not cause any problem when trying to get pregnant. It doesn't affect the fertility. So there are non-surgical treatments like Lupride, Uliprestone, oral progesterone, oral tablets available in the market. But these medicines does not remove the fibroid completely. They only shrink the size of the fibroid. And the moment you discontinue taking such medicines, the fibroid will grow back. So just because you have fibroid does not mean that you will not get pregnant. Your fertility specialist will tell you the possible and the suitable treatment options available for you as per your clinical case. If you have been recently diagnosed with fibroid and you are trying to get pregnant and you are looking for an honest opinion whether you need surgery or you don't need surgery, you can connect with us, you can call us, you can email us or you can log on to our website www.graceivf.com. We will be more than happy to help you have your baby. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, Grace TV.